Geomax engineering is the engineering about location. And 80% of the information in this world are geospatial referenced. For example, where's my coffee, where's my phone, and how to manage those information is very important. And Geomax engineering is about how to acquire location information, like GPS receiver, so how to use GPS and to get the location information, how to use satellite images or drones to get location information, and how to manage the location information uh, in the computer systems. And at the end, how to visualize this location information in computers like Google Earth, Google Maps, and all together it becomes Geomax engineering. I'm a researcher, so my research is about connecting sensors and my, our goal is to making the connection between sensors and applications very very easy so right now there are a lot of sensors out there and there will be many and many more sensors out there however they are not easily connected to applications and then what we try to do is try to make them very very easy so for researchers or anyone who want to innovate and they can easily connect them together so they don't, need to they don't need to worry about how to connect them they just need to worry about how to innovate by connecting them so here is one of the projects we are doing and one big component of what we are doing is to making and implementing an international standard to connect worldwide sensors um, for example, in this platform allow you to, um, to search, to explore what sensors are out there and because in many cases you don't even know what's out there and then this is a very intuitive uh, platform allow you to do that for example you are interested in, in uh, this, these sensors and you can zoom in and see okay what's the preview and you can add the data into the platform for example and like that and then you can add more sensors and you can see what are the types of the sensors and then easily navigate. For example, I'm interested in this sensor about soil moisture. I can add them. You can see there's a new sensor network here added. And this is a very intuitive platform and to connect sensors. In this case, which is very interesting, is um, this is a we call it volunteer sensing. So citizen as sensors. And we have sensors but we also have humans. Because in this case actually we don't need a very high frequency data. So a human look at the water and use a measure to, to measure the depth of the water which is perfectly fine in this case and then the cost is very very cheap and people feel good when they contribute to the platform so there's a very interesting concept called dark data for example in this room right now there are a lot of data we could c collect however we didn't and this data actually can be very very useful for a lot of analysis purposes. For example, what's the temperature in this room? How many people pass it by? How often do they pass by? And how many people sit in front of this desk? And all this data can be collected and can be very useful, but we are not connecting them. However, right now there is a sensor revolution. The sensors and the internet connections become very, very cheap. So it's very easy in the future, we can embed sensor into these platforms. For example, this desk and then we can collect data and upload them to a platform or interconnect these things around us so it becomes a internet of things and we can use this to do a lot of innovative applications there's a new concept called internet of things so the idea is this everything you can imagine so I encourage you to think about one thing right now everything you can imagine they will be connected to internet very very soon Okay. And by connecting them to the internet, by embed sensors into the thing and collecting data, we can create a lot of innovative applications. For example, let's say if we have air quality sensors in every car, and we can have a micro-level air quality models of the city in real-time monitoring. And if we can also use this data to control the traffic lights and then we can control the traffic flow of the city and then we can make our, our air quality better right just by connecting the air quality sensors the cars and the traffic lights why do you want to pursue geomax engineering it's because location is important 
and then actually only until now we are able to collect location information for example GPS receiver is new, computer is new, Google Earth is new so this is something very very new and because of these recent technologies we are finally humans, we, we are able to make this world a better place by using the location information and then this is new, this is exciting and then this is going to change the world